Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary MTU Don't Draw campaign. We'll pick things up for episode 18 from turn 74 in the spring season of 205. So with Gonsan on his last leg, uh, we're shifting our battlefield down southwest. Uh, we want to compete for the Nanman land. Usually we want to leave them alone, but with the way the game is evolving here with Sun Jian just vassalizing Shi Xie, which, you know, grants him all of this land, basically. And I think he also has control of Yingsha already, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. So he has firm control of the south, at least for the Han factions. And now he's going to move against, you know, the Nanman factions. And these land are some of the most lucrative in the game. So as we look to eventually take his capital, which he can shift anywhere, you know, it could be here, it could be here could be just here uh, we need to have a closer place to attack him uh, if he places over here our attack route will probably be through here but if he puts himself in the deep south having control of the Naman territories would definitely be beneficial uh, but first we do have to wrap up our fighting over here now it is spring so maybe we start with a little faction council action Taiyuan quick build up love that Okay, industry boost, I like that as well. Personality reroll, Han Empire vassal. It's not anyone impressive. Personality reroll for her is a bit of a waste. Ooh, peasantry and population in the same. Xu Chang, Liu Dai. Okay, we can get a yellow turban. Pang De hating his faction. Okay, we're not changing any of this. We're not changing any of these. There we go. We also gonna pick up the spying reform because Guo Jia is on five points the last time we left him. And now with Pando minus 30. I know Pando is loyal and all, but if he drops to zero. Oh, we're gonna marry him to Ma Yunlu. It's a fan fiction matching, which I'm not, you know, usually in favor of, but but this is too good. So negative nine is all it took. He wasn't so loyal. And Gong Sun's faction is done. We have his son. Right? We have his son. We have Zhao Yun. There's no one else in this faction we want. I mean, except for Gong Sun Zan, but we're not gonna get him. So we're gonna extract both of them. Uh why don't you empower trade? And I'm just going to extract you. We, we could mess up with the faction. Not, no one really wants to be messed up. There's three administrators. Yeah, we could leave a little trouble on our way out. Alright, this... I mean, we saw that Guo Jia wasn't available. So, it's not like we missed out. We're not able to discredit anyone in the faction, but we can target a single person. Now, Tsarin's minus 40 is not from discredit characters, from one of our faction council moves we did a long time ago. So we can drop him to 28 here. And now we can drop him farther to 18 and also knock Guo Jia to two points. Okay. Is there still a purpose of keeping you around? Or I could just disown you to see if I can grab Guo Jia right now. The air. Ooh. Alright, we're just gonna wait till they clear up the queue, which will happen in a turn or two. And then maybe we can grab some characters from Yuan Shao's faction as well. Alright, going pretty well. Gong Sun Zan's purpose has been served. Now we just crush him. So they did chase this army away, but it exposed both of their armies. Um, they're stuck in a forest, and they're stuck. Basically, they pulled them to reinforce each other to try to beat us, which, you know, nonsense. I'm going to just take the land and then give it away to a vassal, because we can't reach them anyways with the circle here. I can reach this group, and I think I will. Do I care about capture chance on these two? I know she's the administrator of Bohai. So I actually don't want to kill her. I want her on the field, or else she's going to move the whole retinue into Bohai, which would make it more difficult. What if we just... 
Uh, if we have more movement, I can like ambush on their way back to Bohai. But right now I can't, so I might as well wipe them. Oh, no, 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 no. We're wasting some points again. It's just six points, but still. Alright, we'll use some before we fight the other one. And we do gain Imperial Favor because now they're the enemy of the Han. We got the Administrator. We're going to recruit her just to prevent her from being pulled back into the administration role. Okay, keep this army on the field. Can we have extra movement? Not enough, but we'll get there. Alright, so let's use some points first. Let's see what we can pull here. So I know he wants peace. I don't need to vassalize him anymore because we got Zhao Yun. Yan Bai Hu really wants peace. Yeah, not surprised. Keeping Yuan Shu alive and happy. Probably not that important. Can I contract you guys? No. Okay. Kind of pointless then. Okay, so I might want to just shift our opinions. Because we want to vassalize them, right? That's the only way we can get her or confederate her. So we want her as one of our best friends. So I'm going to do a couple of copper coins just to shift her value towards where it's trending. So above 15 is the biggest threshold we can break. Now we're at least, you know, uh, in the light green, friendly. Uh, at 15 and higher, it's friendly. At 60 and higher, it's very friendly. 150 and higher is best friend. Um, it will change the opinion of a lot of these deals. 95 points. Okay. Uh, what's 27 points? Ooh, that's a lot of points. I can still ask for cash per turn. 12.5? Was it 27.5? Yeah, 12.5, because 15 points is a threshold. So I can get like... Wait. Oh? Okay, uh, 222 then, that's fine. And we'll get... 15.1. We're basically forcing her to be our best friend, I think. It's not showing uh, improvement in trend, but I think it will. Because it feels like it's not a deal. Oh, it's a not? We can't co we can't force people to love us? Oh, that's unfortunate. Then she got 15 points for nothing. Well, I could artificially give her 15 points. Like, I got the items to do that. most of these I'm never going to use. And then I don't have cash. I do have food. Oh, it's hard to give her 15 points. I mean, we can start with like five points. Move her above 60. It's sad we can't make her a best friend. I guess you can't intimidate friendship. We learned something today. Um, yeah, we could just take this without any capture rate. He does have someone in here, but we don't have to worry about that. We are going to make a administrator here, but not right away, not this turn. Ah. Are we finally going to get Reach, or are we just going to get Tyrant's Gaze? And the husband's going to get Reach. She got maimed in that fight where we had her chase archers and she ran to spear guards. That's a very unfortunate result of that fight, but... It's not like we need her for combat, so it's not a huge loss. I really don't care how it's built because we're going to give it away. This will keep and Bohai will trade to Yuan Shao. I guess so. And then Yu Bei Ping can trade to Liu Bei. I don't know why he's here. I can buy that later. 
I can give Guangyan everything to Liu Bei. <laughs> Actually, we don't want make Liu Bei too big. What if he becomes one of the emperors? I guess it'll be more interesting then. Alright, they're just holding... We summon the rebel here. It should appear by the end turn. He has a full stack, so I expect him to hold. But it was still fun to summon some rebels. Who knows who's leading it? Could be yellow turban leaders with good items. Alright, we're gonna have to go back and rescue Jinchong apparently. Alright, this is our time to capture... Oh, but we, we just... We don't have to gamble on this. We just lower his satisfaction by 30 points. So we can take a look at the spy in a few turns. So we're just going to continue sieging this. You are getting on my nerves a little bit. Our deal have timed out. I could wipe out Zhang Yan. Not ideal, but... It doesn't look like he's going to get wiped by anyone else. So I feel like it might serve us better to just get rid of him. Than have him keep raiding our land. It's, it's not very nice of him. Zhang I mean... Mm. Let's wait one more turn. Let's get it fully replenished first. So, oh, if we have the money... That will help with the marketplace, and then we can finally build this once we get an entrepreneur. Alright, we got the cheap... Okay, industrialist finally available. That kind of sucked up all the funding. Which is fine. Yeah, I think we can just continue. This army is kind of doing nothing, but then again... There's really not a lot for them to do. Ooh, is Utugu over here? No. But we need to beef up this army before we move south. Ah, he's minus um, 31 away. Let me dip you down to something more reasonable, something that's that's actually useful for the army. Maybe like recruitment. Alright, our 200% boost for industry and peasantry just kicked in. Uh, it's only really 150 because there's a minus 50 for each of them. And we also minus 100 for commerce right now, but money's exploded. Uh, which is great. Let's just continue. Does she have a... She's single. That's another way we can try to get her. Confederate her through marriage. Your husband is in Kong Zhou's faction. How does that work? We have a good chance to grab some of these characters. Uh, we can work out a peace deal with the Empire if we want. Lu Zhi is still alive. And in our vassal's faction. Zhou Yu is a looter. Han Sui is in Liu Yan's faction. Wang Zhu. Uh, Han Fu has Xun Yu. He should also have um, Zhang He. Alright, the Han we can confederate once we become Emperor. We just grabbed them. That's us. Cao Cao. Hopefully we can grab Guo Jia. Okay, what about our vassal's family tree? Okay, Lu is not part of the family. Alright, let's just end turn for now. Oh, he wants peace. It depends. If I can, you know, end up picking up Pangdu, I could peace out with you, but right now it's a reject. Oh, 
this changes things. Sunjian's getting huge down there. Sunjian needs food. Yeah, right. Like, I'm going to give him food. Gong Sun is no longer the enemy of the Han. What did he do to boost himself? Wait, aborted? Wait, why did it... He's still the enemy. Why did it... Because the Emperor can only have one objective at a time? Is that what... Ah, Sun Jian ruined our plan to get more points. Although we're at 100, so it's fine. Alright, no one's back yet, which is not good. Hmm... We can weaken the sun, or we can save points for a bigger drop. Actually, no, we're still going to gain points. Okay. No one joined the pool? Interesting. Okay, now Giant is an interesting threat that I can't really kill right now, or else I'm going to trigger a war with. We got more looters joining them. Now we got the siege, that's what we expected. And they spawned and took that as well. Poor Hansen. They're like, what did I do? Well, this stack is a bit annoying. Got some pretty elite unit here. Look at these. I'm assuming they're gonna advance on my positions here. We'll be, we'll be faster if we sail over there. If they force the fight next turn. If they force the fight next turn. Let me think. Um, it's not that scary. The general is a little bit annoying. But aside from the general, this, the cavalry, all seven units will dismount this one too and try to climb walls. So they're actually quite easy to kill. The heavy spear guard might be difficult to deal with. Hmm. Not an ideal situation. We have to put out a lot of fires back here. And I can't check on his spying status, so we're going to have to continue that siege right there. I want to build out army here. I think I will. We're not going to delay our expansion. Should we pick up Ba? In the no, we should go from the top down. So I want to be here. Recruit a force. Definitely the juggernaut. The fire combo, basically, as much fire as we can bring. And then cavalry. And then we'll smash them when they're healed. Hmm, a bit long on the replenishment side. We could give them the the garlic actually. Pass it along. And then we'll give you something else useful. Uh, he's not commanding. Charge bonus. I'll go with that. Ooh, he's not very happy. Oh, but there's no desire for higher office on this one, which will activate next turn. He doesn't have desire for higher office, though, because I gave him a government post, so that's not going to do it. we got to give him something that actually provides satisfaction. Something like this. Uh, not high enough. I think we'll end up having to give him, like, senior officer again. Yep. Yeah. Oh well. That's okay. Whatever, get the job done.
we want to get towards night battle. Uh, lack of purpose plus nothing to do. Um, maybe the poison arrow minus fifty percent desire for higher office. But I like fire better. I mean, as a great poet, maybe chief of records for a little bit. We can definitely afford the position. Alright, I think we're just gonna take Wohai. He's gotta chase down this runaway. Yeah, we'll do that. He has a siege weapon, so there's no rush to even upgrade that to defend it. I wanna give that away to a vassal, but we need to vacate one of these positions. Who's happier? She's happier. But she's the administrator of the capital. Which is really not building much right now. Hmm. And making less? Okay. Dismissed. We're gonna go to Zhongshan, hometown of Zhao Yun. We're gonna put what are we gonna put in charge? Liu. It doesn't really matter who we just captured her. All right, she disappears from here. Wait, why can't I pull up her screen? I just gotta make sure she has no items. Oh, she's also a bandit. Oh, can I? That might have been a mistake. Can I release her? I still can. Okay, I'll still be a Han faction even though it's led by a bandit. Solid. Handing over Jolyon's faction to bandits. Hometown. How do we feel about that? We don't share a border. I guess we don't. The road here is kind of weird. See, Luo Jun's also family. No. He's just... Yeah, he is. The Sun Clan's been marrying around, that's my only guess. Which is might be the reason why we can't offer a marriage to Cao Cao's clan. Um, we can't offer a trade deal, that's fine. I mean, what do you call this? This is a road. Goes to a port. Goes to another port. Has road, goes to our capital. I don't see why I can't trade with you. But that's fine. Be that way. I'm just gonna delegate because Luigi has really great replenishment. What do we get from the fight here? Book of Rights. Okay. Ooh, rank 6? Okay, we can do some fancy stuff now. We could switch the retinue to the Heavy Spear Guards, which definitely is a better unit. Considering that we don't have Protector of Heaven anytime soon. Even if we do have Protector of Heaven, we're going to just, you know, only use two of the slots for them. Mm, that served as well. I'm not going to touch it because I'm probably going to trade it away. But first, we're going to have to keep fighting in. Anyhow, we'll see what they do there. 
Um, he's going to be needed here. I don't know. I don't think the rebel will ever spawned. You know, we could use them out west. Back over here. I could recall and then summon them. That might be the way, because uh, it's getting a little bit uh, uncomfortable here. Okay. We're going to build. About to get attacked, or else I would build it. What is wrong with the court? Right, it's empty. Nothing's wrong there. Let's uh, continue assuming there's not too much we can do here. You know, we can always check if he's willing to be a vassal. He is, actually. This is easily doable. But then again, we pick up Gong Sun Zan. We don't have to fight any more battles. But then we gain untrustworthiness, which I don't think is worth it. Let him go join another faction. We can try to get him after that. He's still decently young. Let's just continue. Yep, he's going for that little town. He's gonna... I can beat him. I actually... I, I, I know I can beat him with this. I have to loop him, though. Ah, let's not loop. We got a big army sitting behind. Well, he's gonna end up getting faction. He's gonna get his army wiped because he's inside. I'm still above 70. Uh, we're gonna try to fight this. Let's see if we can pull this off. Alright, so. There is no looping here because it's a victory point. So once they take that, they win. They have spread themselves out. They even build a siege weapon. They're going for this gate. Pretty obvious. That's a group that's really hard to kill. Our cavalry unit, if used properly, could probably lure them. Where do we want to fight? I think we should just give up the wall. We should fight on the inside. Like, we can clog up these hallways. I mean, I hope it doesn't get to this point. But if it does... I think it's fine. I want them to all go towards these, right? So we want to like block that up. And we want to block anything else up. Probably this, just so that they have to come through the middle here. Wish us luck. Our, our main strategy would be to try to keep them outside as much as possible. Target you know, vulnerable units, catch their attention to chase after us, and force their cavalry to dismount to get up on the wall, which makes them completely useless once they're inside. And let our towers do as much damage as we can. This unit is going to be crucial in killing him as well. Why is there a laggard here? We have 27 cavalry units here, and then two here, and then one here, because they couldn't get past that little wall. Pathing inside a city is a nightmare for the AI. Oh, 
All right, they're gonna climb. He's gonna bash the door open. Is there any way I can sort of stop this thing? If I charge at it, what would happen? Can I stop that? I don't think so. Which means these cavalries will be mounted. They're dismounting over there, I think. They're gonna shoot me. Mm. Cool. They're still gonna climb in most of the case. That's normal. I wanna kill him. That's really this unit's job. Neutralize the general threat. Ooh, they're not climbing anymore. Pull here, maybe? I don't want that much attention. He's not faster than me. Alright, we pulled a lot of their units to not climb, which is good. That's kind of what we want. And you can see all the horses being left outside. That's also good. The longer we can keep them outside, the better it is for us. The infantry is filing in, though. You see, they're no longer climbing here. Oh, we're still fresh. As they climb uphill, we're gonna go kill them. Sustained fight, they're Saber Cav, we're Saber Cav, right? We're the same unit. No, Tian Sword Militia. Who's better? We have double charge, we're better. Kill. How are they so fast? Oh, because they were slow due to the wedge. Right back to our own city. Oh, they're trying to wedge, which is probably a mistake right now. Investing our only cavalry against their cavalry is probably not the smartest idea, but given the current situation, I don't think we have a better plan. We still have outside towers to help us win the fight here. It's pretty even. They have units that light fires? Oh no. That's not good. Well, but you can see these infantry cavalry making a go at us. The general's also here. He did not get dismounted. No, no, no. What, how is your routing not sending you this way? Yeah, we're decisively losing. We do have support from two sets of towers. Maybe even three sets of towers. So who knows. Right, we should have a bonus against large even when they're dismounted. You, you go help them. I'm gonna meet them out here. Charge. Although I want guard mode. How are we doing out here? Okay, shoot your arrows. Oh, we didn't get captured. Yeah, we didn't get captured. Fire, fire, fire. I don't know who they're firing at, but they better keep it up. 
Alright, we're gonna guard them here, just that we have this. It's gonna be hard for us to fight Axe Unit though, because we're shielded. But we do have these guys working hard to reduce their strength. Heavy Spear Guards. Jeez. I mean, we're counting on this to help us as well. Are we going to preserve some strength and try to pick on someone weak? Repeating crossbowmen? No, heavy crossbowmen. Okay, that, that, that was bad. Because they hurt a lot. We only lost two extra units, but morale just like completely collapsed right there. Yeah, they're gone. Hard to fight these. We're gonna take out their general. Alright, fire now. Nice. Can we kill him? I mean, I can now plug up this door while fighting, firing at them. How are we having such a hard time killing these guys? Oh, come on. He routed. Although, yeah, fighting these are hard. Gonna weaken them. Oh, they got cavalry inside. Yeah, we're doomed. Fight the best you can. And they routed. Yeah, it's over. I, I can't believe it's so hard to kill these guys on the ground. Like, this is our best unit, technically. 23, 23 damage, 25 attack speed. Those are all good stats. Alright, we lost the city. 200 second timer coming up. He's probably gonna end up losing more. Can we kill him? Ah, 3.3. 3.7. Uh, ah, good effort. You will be avenged. Yeah, those melee cavalry's on foot did a lot better than I thought. Eh, yeah, who would imagine Joe you being a thorn to our side? Oh, I think we had a character with a gold armor before that we didn't really look at. We can take a look at her now, I guess. Wait, no, she's gone. Hmm. I have to say that's a bit unfortunate. Now, who should come back to this post? Because it doesn't have to be who we had, considering she does have good stats, plus 10% extra, but I think that's from an item. We can probably find someone else more suitable. Like Samala. Hongsun Xu is not bad either. Yeah, Hongsun Xu is really not bad either. 
She'll be okay. Jovian's here. Invincible? Part of a set. Ah. I think that requires him to be level 7? And also maybe the, the, the add-on mod installed? Which we don't have. And of course, right after we make someone a uh, vassal, it's impossible to find them. Yeah, the peasantry is deceiving because coming from this, I was suspecting that, but we get 10% from all sources anyway, so it's not going to make a difference. And then we're going to give him that 10% back, I guess. It's not the armor we want. That's not the weapon we want. We want the war blade. I want to borrow from her, but I can't. Can't pick and choose like that. All right, let's go with this for now. He has decent enough resolve. Two assignments short. Um, uh, probably don't need a boost here. Look over here. Hodong has boost. They're coming back. Udu could use a bit of commerce. Jincheng. Ah, because Jincheng got taken. Right. Okay, let's take care of the military stuff first. It's nice to see rebels spawn to try to challenge them. This looter is annoying. It looks like he's going for this, and I value this a bit more. So the army that we recalled is going to come over here and help us with this looter situation. We're here. Um, we are not going to take damage because there's another stack coming. We're going to have to fight this. Avenge our boys. Alright. It's surprising that we can siege this on the first turn because we actually don't have siege weapons. So I don't know why we can do this, but apparently we can. Maybe because the door is broken still. Yeah, that's placed. That's probably the only reason. The gate's broken. Um, it does make our attack a lot harder because, well, obviously because we don't have a siege weapon. Um, hmm. I just basically have the turtle formation up, burn the towers. What is the best place to attack though? It looks like pretty terrible everywhere. Not gonna lie. There's way too much overlap on this map. I, I'm guessing we have to use the gate. That's the best way we can kind of get in there. Let's burn one, two, three, four things. Okay. Basically walk them up to absorb the damage. And then these will be our fire sources. We can probably even split them into fours, if I can micro that efficiently enough. Basically, they'll go in squads. And then everything else will just be on hold until those squads are done with their job. Alright, let's see if we can get this to work. Get everyone back a little. I don't want to get hit at the start. Walk in. They are with us. This is slow and tedious work. Actually, we can get all the turtles to go up first because they're not going to get hit anyways. Once we see the shot, there we go. We can move in. Oh, 
actually hang out here a little bit. Can we? I don't want the missing shots to hit them. Okay, they're good. Let's go fire. Two volleys should be enough. Pull him back. There we go. Group is like missing everything. Okay. Lost eight. We lost ten. Yeah, crossbow is gonna be annoying. Um, we can do something else. Warning shot. Can that help us here? The morale is pretty decent. I've ran fire. Should be pretty good against the town? Actually no, keep him here. The other three... Come over here. We'll see what we can do with the Ram Fire. Is there any chance we could... Hmm. I don't know if we can kill units with this efficiently, but I know I can burn the town with this. If I just target like this, half of that town should be on fire. Uh, not where you should stand. Any chance we can fire from here? You can arc that, right? You need clear vision? How close... You're gonna just you're just gonna hit the wall that way. No, 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 no. This doesn't work. Well, I do have a bow. Let me murder him first. He's gonna activate his anti-range thing the first shot he gets taken. So once he gets hit, and once I see him activate it, I'll stop shooting at him. Something's wrong with her. She can't use her bow. She feels like she has no range or vision of the person. I'm gonna tank up the shots. We're gonna make him lose all his ammo. It's only 9 ammo. How come I can't use any of these right now? I do have clear space. I can climb. I can scale the walls. That's not ideal. Like, I want to be able to shoot at him. Like, his, her arc of fire with his bow, the MTU bow. Oh, there we go. Finally. Alright, he activated, so wait. Wait, I still hit him. Your bow goes through range block chance? What sorcery is this? It, it went through. I mean, it is a frontal thing. Is it from like the side? Is that the reason? Because he's dead. 
Wasted the arrow. There's this big opening that we could abuse pretty much right here, where after they run out, we can do a lot of damage to them. And we're keeping that one occupied the whole time, too. These guys are precious. They have the fire arrows. They can burn the town later. We're gonna ride up here for warning shot either. Hey, we're returning fire. Good job, guys. We don't have Swift Finger yet, so we can't use that to help you. Ah, we have one guy missing in action. Okay. Can I try to use it through the gap? Since the arc is so weird. I mean, if we waste one, we waste one. Can you do this? You see them. Oh yeah, that works just fine. Some of the shots probably got wasted hitting the roof here. But we got the gist of the effect. I'm gonna try to, you know, reduce some morale here. Because why not? Such a low cooldown ability. Just this guy. Need to waste all his ammo. Okay, most of the guys on the wall are gone. Push forward a little bit. I still want you to go finish that one off if you can. Alright, ready for the next one. We'll get a little closer. Yeah, that doesn't waste any shots. That's warning shot, a random person, a weak one, archer unit. There we go. Burn it down. I'm oh, getting shot, I'm oh, getting shot. Burn it down quickly. Press forward. You need one more volley, maybe two more volleys actually. Okay, they're good. Pull back. They're out of ammo. Our time to shine. Oh, that's terrible. Should aim straight. Uh, Cause more fire, though. Can we try to route him? Get a minus 20 with a warning shot. Did it not hit? Did it miss? Oh, it hit. Uh, it hit someone else. He got warning shot. No, wait. Anyways, everyone's getting killed by archers, so it's all good. Push in. You guys can join the fun too. Light up the town flame. Oh, they're fighting her now. Pull back. Go back to where you came from. Alright, fire arrows now in position.
Take this out first. Alright, who's still stubborn in front here? It's the heavy spear guards. We don't have any ability that can really punish them. We can only hope that they route with a warning shot. Alright, it's just the cavalry now. Okay, I think they're dead. I don't actually have to go. Maybe it's time to summon them. Eventually, with enough arrows, we're gonna bring anyone down. I wanna bring them down. Ah, warning shot hit them. But they didn't lose morale for that. The move is cool. It doesn't do that much damage. Really? Charge with them. Cover them. I might need them to burn down some more towers on the inside. Nope, we don't. We won. It was kind of rough without siege weapons, not gonna lie. Yeah, looter is definitely a pain in the late game, because they spawn with just such good retinues. And they spawn everywhere. Alright, they didn't really mess with our build, which is good. So going for income here. We would like someone to boost commerce income here. Oh, I kind of regret that. Well, I can move him out of this army, to be honest. He doesn't get along with anyone. We need a strategist. Just doesn't have to be him. Huh. 
No one liked the other two. That's a difficult proposal. Feng Shuo. Ah, Cai Yan. Perfect. We need some siege weapons. We'll still go heavy range. We'll most likely lose this, so might as well trade it to them. Because we have to do the swap anyways in the future once we retake their capital. So why don't you just remember that I'm a good boss and yeah. Take the free land, because losing it would also cost us 15 points of intimidation, which we don't want to deal with right now. We're probably just going to delegate this one. Yeah. We could try to improve the capture rate. Eh, still 0% for him, but a little bit higher for Guan Jing. Now that we have the two empty spy positions, let's take a quick look. Yuan Han's willing to betray the dad. So we'll definitely grab him. The Swim Clan starting to show turncoats as well. Guo Jia's at 4 and doesn't want to leave, so I'm going to have to just push him to 0 and hope he wants to come to me. We got your son, now who else can we grab? Guo Tu will leave. Drop him to 45. Okay, we'll drop him to 45 first. I mean, it would have to be him, even though he will leave. At least he will lower everyone for this turn. Ma Tung's at what? 28, but I can't use anything on him. Still so happy. I mean, we're going to concentrate on one faction at a time. Guo Jia is most likely going to ditch. To make sure they ditch. Ooh, Tao is at 39 as well. We can make Tao at 0. Okay, Tao at 0. I don't think there's too much future here. We have a lot of angry people. But like, we can't touch a lot of people. So I feel like I want this slot opened up. So we're going to use up his point. We'll keep the air. We'll just shift all the points over for him, because it's shared. Get rid of him. Okay, so right now nothing. We're hoping for Guo Jia to ditch Tao Tao. Too loyal to turncoat on him. But we can maybe grab him from the pool next turn. And then we're going to resolve this situation. With a delegate. Alright, Intimidation is recovered. Muslim Zen's main army is wiped. We need to switch the lead for heal. We're definitely going to take this as well. He's resummoning people. Crushing defeat for me. Alright, so that's going to be a save point, just triggering that pre-battle screen. We'll come back and fight this manually. Obviously, they just think they have a lot of, you know, retinue here. 
And then we're just going to trade both of these over to Yuan Shao, trying to make him look stronger. We're going to take the rest of the Northern Territories. There's nothing in his faction that's still valuable to us in terms of character. So no one to steal. Uh, we secured Yuan Shao's heir, so we can do a lot of funny things here as well. Um, but we do want him to become an emperor first. Nobe... How is the kids doing in Nobe's faction? Because we're getting closer to when, you know, Guan Yu's daughter comes of age. Yeah, very close. Hopefully we can offer a marriage. Hopefully we're not related somehow. I think it's all because of this marriage here. And then Huang Zhu did a lot of other marriages and now we're just related to a lot of people. And that's why Sima Long's part of the family, right? We can offer him up in marriage. And then Sima Long was in another faction earlier and then that faction married someone else's faction. Like they married Liu Bao's faction. It's a mess right now. Anyways, uh, the spy is working out pretty great. We'll come back, do the fight. And there's probably other fights we have to clean up across the field. And we probably have to set up buildings and all that. And then we'll move on from there. So hopefully you guys enjoy this and see you all next time. Bye.